Hi, here's a more difficult example AMC problem involving the prime factors of the calendar year. The number 2013 is expressed in the form 2013 equals the ratio of these factorial expressions, where the decreasing sequence of A and decreasing sequence of B are positive integers with the sum A1 plus B1 as small as possible. What is the absolute difference of A1 minus B1? Okay, so this looks to be an integer constrained problem. So we have integer factors on the top numerator, integer factors on the bottom denominator, and somehow this has to form the number 2013. So the prime factorization of 2013 is definitely gonna come into play here. So assuming we came equipped with that number, we know that 2013 is 61 times 11 times three. So we're gonna to have to introduce the factors of 61, 11, and three through this ratio expression. So how can we do that? So let's concentrate on A1 first. It looks like we're gonna to have to introduce the factor of 61 through the A1 factorial. And probably the simplest and the smallest way to do that is to just let A1 equal 61, in which case we'll have 61 factorial in the numerator, but that introduces a lot of unneeded factors. 61 factorial is 61 times 60, 59, 58, etc. down to one. So we have these factors of 60, 59, and 58 that are unneeded, and probably the simplest way to get rid of those is to just put a 60 factorial in the denominator and we can do the same with the factor of 11. Put 11 factorial up top, 10 factorial on the bottom to get rid of the unnecessary factors. Do the same with three. And that looks to form 2013. The sum of A1 and, A and B1 looks to be reasonably small and the absolute difference A1 minus B1 is 61 minus 60, and that's the number of one. And that uh, answer choice does show up, but let's see if we can do better than this. It looks like we have to introduce the factor 61 factorial up top, but it's not clear that we have to go as high as 60 factorial on the bottom, because the number 60 is a composite number. So perhaps we can get rid of the factor 60 by some other means, by something clever combination of other factorials in the problem. Now when it comes to 59, 59 is a prime number, so we probably can't get rid of 59 with anything smaller than 59 factorial. So let's try that. Let's put 61 factorial up top, and now let's put 59 factorial on the bottom. So now we have a factor of 60 up top that is unnecessary, or at least the four and the five are not needed. The three actually is needed, so we can probably keep that. Now we do have to introduce the factor of 11. Let's just do it the same way we did before. 11 factorial, 10 factorial. And now we have the factor of three that we want. We wanna get rid of the factor of four. So it looks like we can do the reverse trick and just put uh, three factorial, four factorial, and we want to get rid of the factor of five, we can do the same trick, four factorial, five factorial. The four factorials cancel. The form of the numerator and the denominator match the desired form that we're looking for. This is equal to 2013. It looks like we've minimized A1 plus B1, and the absolute difference is equal to two for answer B. Anyway, I hope that was clear, and we'll see you with the next video. Take care. Bye.